Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred with Wentworth CCTV of New England and we are coming at you today with an exciting video on a product lineup that we are very excited about. Um, it is the Capture Series. It's manufactured by Dawa and available through ADI and I'll tell you as a heat vision guy, those of you that watch this channel, uh, know that I have been a gold level dealer with Hick Vision for years and years, for decades, and I love Hick Vision product. Um, but I have to tell you, the picture quality of this camera is superior to that of Hick Vision. The price point is less than that of Hick Vision, uh, and its compatibility uh, with all browsers um, and be able to initialize and stuff like that um, is very simplified. And, and this has won me over. So we're going to cover uh, the Capture IP um, bullet cameras. There are two of them, a 2 megapixel and a 4 megapixel. The one we are demoing today is actually the 2 megapixel. And the model for it is R2-2MP IPBUL. Real simple, right? Um, the 4 megapixel is very similar. Um, the 4 megapixel retails for less than $100. The 2 megapixel... Uh, is about seventy dollars. Um, they both have a fixed two point eight millimeter lens, and these are PoE cameras, um, meaning that they do not need a um, you know a power supply plugged into an outlet. You can power these cameras through PoE. Um, we have covered PoE before. There is a uh, a link above to our video on the BV Tech uh, PoE switch. That is what we use with our IP cameras, and basically. All a D, uh, PoE switch does is it provides power and data to your camera. As you can see, we have four PoE ports on this particular switch. They also have eight port switches. They have 16 port switches. Um, but you're just going to plug into one of the PoE switches, um, just like so. And then you are going to take the other end of the Ethernet cable. And we are simply going to plug the internet cable into the pigtail of the PoE camera, okay? So one end of the cable is plugged into the camera, the other end of the cable is plugged into the PoE switch. Um, on this switch, there are also two uplink ports. Um, one of these ports would be plugged into your modem or router um, that has the live internet because we want this camera to be live in order to pull, pull it up by the QR code um, that comes with it. You'll also see the QR code again when we activate the camera. But when you download the DMSS phone app, um, you can scan in this QR code uh, and the camera uh, will import to the phone app automatically. It's exciting stuff. Uh, we're going to pull it up on the uh, laptop now, show you how to configure this camera, position it properly, uh, and connect it to the phone app. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, so now that we have our camera plugged into the PoE switch uh, positioned and we have the uplink port of the PoE switch plugged into our modem, um, we are going to locate the camera on our network um, using the DAWA config tool. Um, there is a link above to a video that we have previously done on how to download this config tool um, and use it. Uh, so we're not going to get into that in this video. Um, but as you can see, it has located our camera uh, on the network, okay? And right now, the camera has, is, is uh, at its default IP address that it shipped with, the 192.168.1.108 right here. Um, if we try to pull that up to put that in DHC mode using the web at this point, it will not work um, because the camera is not on our default gateway. Um, our internet service provider, um, which is Atlanta Broadband, gives us a gateway of 192.168.0.1, not .1.108. So if I try to pull this up, um, it's going to be confused, freeze up, buffer. It's not going to be able to pull up the camera, okay? So what we need to do is switch our gateway to 192.168.1.108. To do that, um, we've done that in a lot of these videos, but you hit the Windows button uh, and the letter X on your keyboard. We're going to go to Network Connections. Um, 
This is going to depend on the way you are, you are connected to the internet. I'm on Wi-Fi, so Wi-Fi comes up. If I had a LAN uh, port in my computer and my computer was connected to a modem or router with an internet cable, you would see Ethernet and you would want to click on that instead of Wi-Fi. Uh, but in either case, you're going to double click on that option. Um, you're going to pick change adapter options. Okay. And again, one of them will be green. That's your connection. It'll be either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. We're going to right click on that connection and go down to properties. When we're into the properties box, um, you will see an option for internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. We're going to double click that um, and we're going to hit use the following. Okay, 192. 168.1.9 is what I want you to put in that box. And then we're going to hit the tab button. And what that will do is it will auto populate the subnet mask. Okay, we want that 255, 255, 255, 0. Hit OK here, hit OK here. And now we are going to be able to log into that camera using the browser. And we will be able to. Um, Activate it again. The IP address is 192.168.1.108. Um, so let's pull up a browser and we're going to type 192.168.1.108. Okay, and here we are. The first time we set up the camera, we're going to have to tell it. Um, where we are which is the USA if you are not in the USA that's certainly fine just pick your region um, we're going to pick our time zone I am Eastern Standard okay you can hit sync PC to change the camera time to match that of your computer we're going to create our administrative password okay this has to be eight digits and it's the password that you will use to log into your camera going forward. Recovery email address is the email address you would like Dawa to email you at in the event you lose or forget your password. Okay, um, so we're going to give it my email. It says in initialization as uh, you know been successful. Here's the P2P uh, QR code. You can use this with the DMSS phone app um, to easily connect the camera once it's connected to the live internet to the phone app. Okay, nice and simple using that barcode. There's also a barcode that comes in the box with the camera. You can use that as well. You're gonna hit next here, check for auto updates. Uh, why not? Okay, so now we're gonna log into the camera using the password we just created. And once we log in, we're going to come up here to settings and we're going to go to network and we're going to pick TCP IP. And I want you to change this to DHCP and hit save. OK. And as discussed, what this is going to do is it's going to change this default IP address uh, that the camera came ship with 192.168.1.108 to something that is on our gateway. I already told you. Our internet service provider's gateway is 192.168.0.1. So when the camera reboots and we pull it up again in the config tool, you'll see that the camera is 192.168.0 um, and then something. So let's pull up that tool and see where it put our camera. Um, before we do that, I'm going to have to go back into network connections. And we're going to have to change our computer's internet adapter to um, right here. So we're going to right click on Wi Fi. We're going to go back to the internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. And we're going to switch this back to obtain an IP address automatically, okay, to put it back on our network's gateway. And now. You will see it's changed to 192.168.0.27. Okay. And that's beautiful. That's what we want. So now we can hit this web button and it will pull up our camera. 
All right, so we will put in our password. And we will be able to pull up and see our camera. Uh, mine is just in the living room for this demo. So you're not going to see a lot except probably dogs sleeping. No, they're looking out the window. Um, and like I said, folks, this is a good quality uh, 2 megapixel camera. Uh, and that works easy, uh, easy to use. There is a app, um, there's a video above, there's a link above right now, that will show you how to connect this camera to the DMSS phone app. Okay, and basically it's, it's scanning the QR code. Okay, you download the DMSS app. Um, right here under Network Platform Access, you'll see our camera is online. Um, you just have to scan this barcode into the DMSS app, and you'll be able to view this camera live uh, with your phone. Um, simple as that. We hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, this camera can be hooked with any capture uh, NVR. Um, to record the data, right? When we hook a camera up like we did now, um, you can look at a live view, but if you don't have a recorder with a hard drive, you're not recording the data. Um, so there is a link in the description uh, of this video that will point you in the right direction with the Capture NVRs. You can also use this camera with a Hikvision uh, NVR, Honeywell NVR, just about any NVR. Uh, the difference is instead of plug and play with the PoE switch on the back of the NVR, you'd have to manually configure the camera using ONVIF and port 80. Uh, again, we hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider hitting that red subscribe button, and we'll see you in the field.